Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is having a great Monday. Well, here we are back at Monday again and I am pushing the easy button today. This is what we're going to be working on. This is the new uh, single color that I got. It's 150 by 70 centimeters. If I hadn't said that before, it's like 610 by 256 stitches. So, yep, yeah, and we started right over here on this flower. I don't know which one was bigger, but we'll just work our way down and across and see how it goes. And the color is 666. Yeah. So, how is everybody doing? Everybody having a great day? Yeah, I really hate Mondays. Monday, I either get up early or... I don't and then I'm behind so I'm going to be filming this and then I probably won't get it uploaded until 6 o'clock tonight because the idea of working all day and then coming home and having to make a video it just some days it just doesn't work for me and I never know how busy Saturday or Saturday Monday is gonna be so here we are here we are and for four days I really didn't get too much done at all around the house just wasn't feeling it at all so yeah so I'm still drinking coffee and trying to get awake I work uh, 10 to 6 today we'll see if I get to stay till 6 o'clock if it's you know busy or not now next weekend is going to be like a totally different deal because it will be Labor Day here in the United States so yay 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 so, and that's like the last busiest Monday if you will that's the biggest holiday-ish thing we have. Of course, we have Christmas and Thanksgiving, and we're off both those days. You know, the the gas station's closed for those days. <sighs> yeah. But that's okay. And... Yeah, it's been slowing down now. You know, it's been a little busy on the weekends. But the traffic is nothing like it was at least a month ago, we'll call it. <coughs> so, we'll see. Oh, I ordered some more, um... I think it's 1169 Sulky. For my, uh... What is it? Louisa Cullimore. Because I'm kind of starting to panic. I have three other spools of it. But I'm just saying. I've only done like one corner of it. And I've almost gone through a spool of thread. So I'm kind of freaking out. I don't remember how big it is. Or I don't even remember what it called for. You know. I, I could look it up. You know. But that would be just too easy as far as that goes but uh, yeah I just needed something easy this morning that I really didn't have to concentrate on <sighs> must have days like that last night I worked on what did I work on I was worked on both the Bristol monkey sampler from modern folk embroidery you know and I worked a little bit on Mary Jane Fry. Just picking out a few things. I was working on the border on Mary Jane Fry. Because it's nice and easy and consistent, you know. Thought I'd bring it down a little bit more. And I got 
almost mm, one and a half lines of lettering done on the, um, the Bristol Monkey sampler. So, got a little bit more progress. I just got tired of doing those silly letters. You know, I mean, if you didn't like to do letters in the beginning, you'll either going to hate it or learn to love them. Love making letters, so. I can get a few done here and there, you know, we'll just go on with it. And at least the second row that I started, they were smaller, you know. They weren't so ornate, if you will. I don't know. It's like, holy cow. I want to do this, but, you know, there's that big but. Uh, I, that, I think that's why I like Louisa Cullen more better, because it started at the bottom. And, uh, hey... Really? Get down. Um, because you can do the motifs. And I like doing motifs. Or the, um, what do you call it? G design lines. Those are a lot more interesting than doing letters as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, that's just my opinion. So, a little bit here and a little bit there. And I missed the whole hole. How's that? Isn't that great? I did it twice. We're fine. So, yeah. I can't believe it's going to be Foss Tube already tomorrow. It, it's just beyond me. These weeks are flying by, and I'm just... Haven't done too much on outside of my house as far as... Um, you know, raking the yard and all that. And it's like, no, just not happening. And my back hasn't been the the greatest this summer. And my daughter's shoulders and back haven't been the greatest this summer. So there's no help to be had there. And, yeah, I don't have that kind of want or need to be outside to do yard work. Yard work has never been my strong suit, ever. I get it where it needs to be and we're done because yeah I I don't even like pulling weeds or working in the garden or having flowers and all that I went through all that when I lived in Kansas as far as having a garden a couple of times and yeah no it doesn't appeal to me anymore and plus if I have to get down to Sorry, I gotta get my different scissors because all the other scissors are someplace else. Oh, here's my other ones. Found these in a bag. I'm sure I'll run into other scissors. I can't find my black ones. But yeah, no, it, getting down on the ground and then having to get back up is just not good for me. Um, I'm not that capable anymore, so I can rake things. That's fine. But we have a bunch of sticks that fall off these trees. I have no idea what kind of trees they are. I mean, it's not like they're aspen or pine trees or something I could distinguish. Or even cottonwoods. I don't even think they're cottonwoods. Because we don't have... It, it's got weird leaves on it. I don't know what it is. Not a clue. So, yeah. That, that kind of crap just doesn't, doesn't do me. And then it'd be getting it, everything you raked up into a one of those big leaf and lawn bags, and then getting it to the trash can. It, yeah, no. And I had to wait till today to take the the trash out, so that'll be happening after work, because they come today. They come today, both where I work and here. So, I wanted it to be kind of empty so that I could get it in there. You know what I mean? I only got two bags. I really need to clean out the refrigerator. That'll be another episode. So... I don't know, I was kind of leaving my daughter alone this weekend because she was saying her her 
joints were bugging her, so we only push that so far, and then we just keep moving. And I know how she feels, you know. I got the kitchen semi-cleaned up. I didn't get the floor mop, but, you know, hey, what can I say? It happens a little bit by little bit around here because nobody cares but me and Molly, so I'm not real excited to get it cleaned up. And at some point I got this week I got to call the guy about the furnace because it won't come on. I don't know what its problem is. So I have to call somebody out about that. See if I tried to get a hold of somebody last week and nobody called me back. So I don't know if I had the wrong number or or what. So we'll see. Getting those kind of things, the important things done. I don't think we'll be able to work on the skirting this year. It needs to be adjusted and have, oh, probably three, maybe four, even, um, sheets of, what do you call that stuff, insulation put behind it, but once you get snow there, I just stack the snow up against the side of the house. There's maybe a oh, three or four inch gap back about maybe five or ten feet, the back end. So, and I haven't had any problem keeping the place warm. I just don't know what's wrong with the stupid furnace, so. And it's not like my, it's an old furnace. We just got that furnace five years ago, so I don't know what its problem is. Might be a quick fix, might not be. I have no idea, because I don't know crap about furnaces. But I'd like to get that settled before I have to go and buy heaters from Amazon to heat this place with. So we'll see. Did I miss? Oh, I thought I missed again. So, crap to get done. Everything else I can deal with on the inside. Oh, so I hope today is just busy enough to keep us busy. Not insanely nuts because most kids have started back to school I mean I don't know about the rest of the country but uh, at least around here then they get for some reason they get Friday off I don't know I think it's a teacher in service thing already two weeks into school I don't get it I guess it gives everybody a four-day weekend.
it's coming along. Just so happened to have some red here. Figured why not. Probably help if I went for the end that had the eye in it, it'd probably thread easier that way. Yes, I didn't work on too much this weekend. Not too much, nothing else came in. Molly and I went to town yesterday. Them girls at the post office, I was there, I think it was either, yeah, it was Friday night. It was 8.30 at night, and they were still putting the stuff in lockers. They've just been so overrun and didn't have, don't have a lot of help. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. They're probably working 12-hour days. There was still somebody there when it went on Saturday about you know, 7 o'clock. Wasn't anybody there on Sunday, of course, when I went then. They were probably glad to have a day off. So you know they've been busy. So I've been waiting until later in the day to go to the post office and see if anything was in. So... You would think that some of that stuff would be coming, but who knows. I did write down what day that I, they said that they had shipped it, you know. So, who knows. We'll see. This last two came from, were said they were shipped in the United States. But, I have no idea. Not a clue why some of them take longer than others. I don't know if they're directly shipped from China. But the others only took like 15 days. So now that one I just ordered, uh, was it last weekend? Maybe, maybe the middle of the week somewhere. You know, I know it'll take another week or two, or week at least, to get here. And I know that if it has like a a letter in the beginning, like a Y, that it's coming from China. When they give me the the shipping shipping number type thing, it's not like you're going to be able to look it up. It's out there, so. And I think everybody's behind just because of this whole little bit. I hope everybody's doing okay, especially those over there in Louisiana and what's that state? Mississippi? Maybe? Holy cow. What a mess. Stay safe, people. Stay safe. I don't know if I have any viewers or not, but I hope you're all okay that are down in that area. Because I know when we lived in Houston, they had hurricane backlash. You know, might not necessarily come right there, you know, but we got all the, the rain and that kind of stuff. Sometimes flooding. In fact, they had, um, at the house, in the garage, they had, when you left that house, you had to leave all the boards that go up over the windows and stuff in case of a hurricane. And there were candles and batteries. You had to make sure that the batteries were not expired, if you will. 
and stuff in one of the closets, like in the kitchen closet in the house. Now, that was 40, 40, almost 50 years ago there when we lived in Houston. But uh, they were all prepared to have to put those windows or the, what do you call it? The... The boards up over the windows and stuff. We lived in, well, I don't know if it was South Houston. It wasn't South Houston. We lived in North Houston. There we go. Because we were up I-45, I away from town-ish. You know, I'd say it'd take you a good half an hour to get to town. I mean, as far as that goes. I mean, Houston, downtown, and where all the water was and that kind of thing, but... Still, it was a mess. It could rain there. I'm telling you, yeah, it could rain. In fact, my grandparents came to visit. My grandfather goes, "Well, they grow around here, rice." There's like four inches of water sitting in the backyard because <laughs> it had rained. Oh yeah, because there's no place for it to run off. It was great. Oh my goodness. We're just going to go right down this way. Did I miss again? Almost. If you miss, you know, it gets covered up by the next row, so I'm not real worried. Every once in a while, it happens. I hope nobody's going to go over this with a fine tooth cone comb to make sure that I got every X cross just perfectly right. I don't think that'll be happening. Well, we can aim for having perfect stitches, but yeah. Not happening. Whoops. Well, it's coming right along. All right, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Whoops, let's put that right there. And don't forget to hit the bell, and that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.